What's good YouTube? In this video, we'll be taking a look at how to access and how to customize Control Center on your brand new iPhone 13. If you like this kind of content, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. So for some people who have an iPhone with a home button, access to Control Center might be very different than on the latest generations of iPhones. Traditionally, you would swipe up from the home button in order to access Control Center, but this has been different since the home button was removed since the iPhone 12. The easiest way of accessing Control Center from the lock screen, even if your phone is already locked, is to swipe to the right of the notch. Here you'll see if you swipe right down, you'll be able to pull up Control Center, even if your phone is unlocked. Similarly, at the home screen, if you would like to access Control Center, you want to swipe down to the right of the notch as well, and you can pull down Control Center. This also works in a lot of apps as well. For example, if we're in messaging here and we swipe down, you see that Control Center is still accessible. So whether or not your phone is locked and whether or not you're in an app or in the home screen of your iPhone, you can still access Control Center by swiping down to the right of the notch. Next, we'll move on on how to customize exactly what options you have in Control Center. By default, in Control Center on the Apple iPhone 13, you have access to airplane mode, turning on and off your cellular data, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, the now playing widget, rotation lock, flashlight, timer, calculator, camera, and of course your brightness and volume sliders. If you hold down on each of these individual options, you actually have access to more options right from Control Center. So if you hold down on the brightness slider, you actually have access to a larger brightness slider that takes up most of the screen, and dark mode, night shift, and also true tone. And this works the same way for all of the other widgets accessible through Control Center. In order to customize which widgets are available in Control Center, what you want to do is go into your Settings app, and then you want to scroll down to Control Center, which is just below General. Hit Control Center, and then you can see the controls for Control Center, which includes access within apps, and of course, the default controls and widgets that are available. You can simply add new widgets to Control Center by hitting the plus button on those available. If you have apps with widgets that are available to Control Center, they'll be included in this list as well. Out of the box, some of the apps that you can access through Control Center include Alarm, Code Scanner, Hearing, Magnifier, Text Size, and Wallet, among others. And these are all available right out of the box on your brand new iPhone 13. So there you have it everyone, how to access Control Center on your iPhone 13 and how to customize the options that you have available. If you like this kind of content or found some of these tips useful, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe.